Infidelity is a hard subject. I've been through it too. Found out about the cheating and had to heal after multiple affairs. My marriage could not be repaired and ultimately ended in divorce. We're going to discuss some of that in today's video. Disclosure, just to prepare you, this video may be triggering in some way if you're trying to heal after discovering affairs. Feel free to skip it if you need to. Hi, I'm Jen Grice, author of the book, You Can Survive Divorce. I am a divorce mentor and empowerment coach guiding women to surviving and thriving after divorce. You can find out more about my ministry, my coaching, and my book at jengrice.com. Also, shout out to the ladies in my Patreon community. I don't name names for privacy reasons, um, they, and they know who they are, but I appreciate your monthly donations. Thank you. So on to this week. Wondering if your spouse is cheating? Let's go over my top seven signs, and there probably are more, but this is what I've come up with off the top of my head for today's video. Number one, any questions you ask about their whereabouts or that you want to check your spouse's phone or internet history or Facebook is met with anger or rage, excuses, and tons of pushback. There may even be gaslighting, and feel free to check out my video about that, uh, with things like you're crazy to think that I'm cheating, you're paranoid, my life is none of your business, you have no right to, to see my phone or anything going on, or I just trust you. Why do you need to check on me? Here are some important things that you need to know. A person who has nothing to hide, hides nothing. A person who has integrity is transparent. And a person who values the character is willing to prove it. So when you wonder if they're having fair and you start out to questions and you don't get a honest, I have done nothing wrong, I'm willing to prove that to you, prove my love to you, then there could be something else going on. Number two, your spouse is turning down your advancing or seeking more intimacy than normal without talking about why this is first. If there is an affair going on, usually there are some changes that you will know uh, that are going on. And you may be scratching your head to why all of a sudden there are these changes. When you ask, they have no good reason or they play dumb. I'm busy, I'm just so attracted to you, yada, yada. Or they could be using this as another way to exercise and get into shape, which leads me to number three, your spouse all of a sudden has an interest in getting healthy, losing weight, and improving their appearance, again, for no good reason. Or at least they're not willing to explain to you why, or they're not talking about their bucket list, uh, item to run a marathon, which you probably already knew about, or the doctor's orders to eat better, to be heart healthy. Uh, these are perfectly good reasons. But no, a cheater just comes home from work one day and says, I'm going to go for a run, or join the basketball league, or I'm having a salad to tonight for dinner. And you're like, why? And they they don't tell you a good reason why they, or they make excuses. It's just surprising. And if it goes along with the other clues, then they could be having an affair. Number four, your spouse seems to be preoccupied. Again, a change in behavior. This could involve their phone, computer, hiding things um, from you, being secretive, and you notice just a difference in how they're behaving. Uh, you could be out with family and your spouse is escaping to the bathroom for a long time and you suspect that they're on the phone or texting somebody else. Or they could be getting messages or phone calls from unknown numbers. They're probably deleting texts, texts or messages or unknown phone numbers. You can just tell they're hiding something. The excuse most of us heard was she's just a friend or it's just a guy from, from work or that it's just a friend that's a female and she asked uh, that her text to be deleted and not shown. And, you know, it's, you scratch your head like, huh, why hide something if there's nothing to hide? If it's nothing, if there's nothing going on, you don't need to hide it. Number five, money is coming up missing. Bills are going unpaid. Unexpected lunch charges on your credit card when it's no way that that's one person's meal. The money trail is what usually gets a lot of cheating spouses, but they also have ways to get around it. So even taking out large sums of cash 
at the beginning of the week or buying a prepaid credit card so you don't see what kind of transactions they're making would be a sign that your spouse is spending money that they don't want you to know about. Number six, you're getting accused of cheating. Alone, this may not be a sign as many abusers, even if they're not cheating, accuse their spouse of cheating. This is one way they control you. But if there are the other signs going on, then your spouse could be projecting his or her actions onto you by accusing you of being the one who's cheating. Maybe I've said this before in another video, I'll never forget when I was accused of sleeping with the UPS guy because he was seen running from our house. There was also supposedly a vehicle in our driveway one night while my ex husband was out with his girlfriend while I was home pregnant with a child. But the point is cheaters have to accuse you of doing what they're doing to make themselves feel better about what they're doing. The cheating spouse may even tell other people that you're cheating to help cover his lies. The point is, is he, he or she just doesn't want to take accountability for their actions. And number seven, he or she will pick a fight or even want you to treat them poorly. Again, going back to the finding the excuse or rationale in their own head about what they're doing, picking a fight or trying to get you to be mean instead of treating them well is almost to say, see, that is why I cheated. These are not good reasons where they're just what they do. So well, those are my top 10 clues your spouse may be cheating. Are there any others that you'd like to share? Join the discussion in the comments. If there are five to seven more, I can do another video. I'm sure there's other things we can talk about. This is the, the first set that I came up with and also experienced myself. Now let me add before we end this, just a couple of these signs may mean nothing, but if you're seeing a lot of them and your gut is telling you something is wrong, I'm losing my spouse to someone, trust your gut. Ask him or her and do some investigation to find out. You have that right. But remember to stay safe. If your life is in danger, get out. Make sure to have a safety plan. I hope that was encouraging and empowering to you. If you have any questions or other things you need to talk about, uh, about, especially about betrayal trauma, leave those in the comments. I can't wait to hear what you have to say. I hope to see you in the next video. I appreciate you. God bless.